What is this? Honestly, what is this thing? It's crazy. <laughs> this sled is, I don't, honestly, I'm at a loss for words because it is, like I think when I was at the factory and I saw them doing this in R&D, that Chuck Norris was there giving blood that day because the snowmobile is like the ultimate do all sled. It's, it's crazy. <clears throat> for trail riding and kind of touring, it's called the adventure. Uh, for utility, it's called the, the Titan, I believe. Um, this, this sled from Polaris is just crazy. Uh, <laughs> it's got the Axis logo on the seat. It's got the Axis front end. It has a 20 inch wider out back. Like I'm talking a mammoth setup back here. This thing is huge. I mean, it's just massive. It's got an articulating rear skid um, at the back. So that portion lifts up when you put it in reverse. So the thing doesn't trench down, it lifts up and and walks up on top of the snow. It's got Fox piggybacks in the rear skid. Like they're, they're uh, QS3 piggybacks up front, Fox QS3s. It's got the little brush bar bumper thing up here. Um, they didn't have skis big enough, so they went and got snowboards and put some ski hoops on them. Honestly, like next to my foot, it's almost the same width as my foot. It's crazy. This sled <clears throat> has an 800 under the hood. Uh, it's fast, it's capable, it goes wherever the heck you want. Literally, you can go anywhere. This is the ultimate, like, ice fisher, um, backcountry trapper, loaded up with firewood and go to the cabin. Um, I mean, uh, two up guys with snowboards if you're doing that kind of stuff. It will go anywhere with that 20 inch track out back you ain't getting stuck. The, some of the cool stuff, so two up seat, two up seat comes off super quick and easy. Um, then you've got this back cargo area, uh, which is just huge. Like this, this cargo box is massive. It's got a trailer hitch too. Of course it does. Um, I think you can drop this thing like out of a C-130. But back here it's lockable. The cargo capacity in the back is huge. It's got those little, uh, locking plunger type deals that they use on the ATVs and whatnot. <clears throat> and this whole kit comes out of here. So should you want to uh, to remove this thing, you can. The seat comes out pretty quick and easy, just with a little snap back here. Not hard at all. This sled is just like the ultimate get out and go. It's got <clears throat> the reverse um, setup over here is actually a, like a hand shifter style it has neutral it's got the full gps gauge on it i'm supposed to turn the key off because i'm wasting the battery um i think the only thing this sled doesn't have is a heated seat that's literally the only thing it doesn't have and who knows maybe it's accessorized and you can get it that way or what i don't know but it's uh it's just it's crazy we rode it quite a bit the end of last year everybody who got on it loved it nobody complained a single bit about the on-trail characteristics the tunnel Yes, it's 20 inches wide, so it's got a big tunnel on it, but Polaris, smart as they are, put a taper on it just like Skidoo's tunnels. So it's got a taper on the tunnel, so you don't really feel as much like you're riding a horse. There's no sharp edges there. You know, you don't feel like you're you're uh, jumping on something that's a 4x8 sheet of plywood wide. Um, the windshield on it is massive, but you're not taking this sled out to go, um, you know, look like you're riding an XCR. This is for staying warm, touring, doing utility work, whatever you might want to do. And it's kind of the ultimate, <clears throat> uh, so P Polaris came out with the Adventure Series sleds and they were sort of the do everything snowmobiles. It's kind of like the, the Swiss Army knife. It, it'll do whatever you want it to do and it does it all pretty darn good. Um, this sled is kind of the ultimate of that. It'll pull, haul, uh, you know, carry two up, go wherever you want, stay warm, GPS, um, a bulletproof transmission in it, uh, Fox shocks, Fox QS3 piggyback, so you've got great suspension, um, the articulating rear rail, it'll literally go anywhere forwards or reverse. It's a, it's a crazy sled for getting stuff done, and here at Snow Tracks we do a lot of, um, obviously, filming, but when we go out and, and ride, we gotta take a lot of gear along with us. We gotta take camera bags, we gotta take GoPro bags and setups, we gotta take tripods and all kinds of different stuff with us. And sometimes we're out on the trail, you know, for 
eight, 10 hours, depending on how long we go and what the shoot is. And we want to take other stuff like, you know, you bring in food along with you and extra clothes or maybe you need an extra jacket because we're doing a couple of test rides and we want to switch some stuff up for ride footage so we look different and stuff like that. We've kind of become um, pretty good at judging the capabilities of utility sleds and we usually order one or two utility sleds every year and we kind of call them the camera sled. Um, and that's kind of our go-to for, you know, gearing stuff up, making it work, um, maximizing storage capabilities, and that sled usually gets a lot of miles put on it because it's going everywhere that we go and it's kind of the behind the scenes vehicle and that's what this is going to be this year so we're really excited about it because it's got a little bit of everything that we need when we're going out to do that there's not really any drawbacks to it which is nice as well sometimes some of the bigger four strokes when we get out <coughs> excuse me with the camera guys um, you can get in some pretty interesting places especially if we're doing some off trail filming uh, those guys have to come along with us and, and ride something out to where we are and usually sleds like, you know, uh, SKSs or um, free rides or high countries or whatever it might be, they're not the best at carrying gear. So we try to put the guys on something that has storage and usually it's a big heavy four stroke. And if we get it somewhere that it shouldn't be, um, there's usually some digging that goes on. So this sled is a two stroke. It's reasonably um, weighted. It's not crazy heavy, it's huge, but that footprint is so much larger than your typical, um, you know, touring or two up sled that we can go anywhere we want to with the flotation that we need to be pretty certain we're gonna be able to get back out. Now, yeah, I'll agree that if we do get stuck, we're probably, you know, park till spring or get the shovels out and do some serious pulling, but it's cool because this thing's got bumpers everywhere. It's got a trailer hitch on the back so we can pull it out backwards if we need to. We can hook up to that nice little brush bar up front and pull if we have to. There's all kinds of options. Um, however, riding this thing in the mountains last year and in some pretty deep snow, we found that it was really, really hard to get this thing stuck. Um, with that big 20 inch track on it and all that length, there's just not really a whole lot of availability of getting it stuck unless you're driving it in you know, epic uh, depths of powder, which we don't typically get here in the flatlands. So for us, I think this is gonna be a really cool sled. And crazy thing, you think 20 inch wide, you think utility. Um, and you usually think four stroke or not a whole lot of sportiness. This sled last year, we railed this thing on the trail one up. We took the two up seat off and we went out and we were like, you know, Polaris guys told us, they said, okay, go ahead and, and just rail this thing like you would a regular axis. Just go, like, go beat on it, go ride it hard and tell us what you think because we, we believe you're gonna be surprised. And we thought, yeah, you can't trick us. This is a, this is a utility sled that, you know, you put a, a performance snowmobile front end on we're, we're just not sure about that sure enough every single one of us came back and said wow you can really ride that thing fast aggressive you can carve the corners you can keep up with everybody else and it'll do all those other things as well when you want to snap the two up seat on put the big box in the back go haul a you know a 10 15 sticks of uh, firewood out to the cabin or or whatever you're doing this thing just does it all and it does it all really well. So we're excited about this, uh, this adventure in the, in the Titan chassis um, or the Axis Titan. I, sorry, I just getting back on snow. I haven't gone on the website and seen the exact uh, uh, acronyms and, and description for it, but this is gonna be a cool sled this year. And like Polaris always does, piggybacks all the way around. I just, I think that's so cool because you know what? You don't have to go utility and lose all of your cool factor. You can do utility, you can stay cool, and you can still go out and rail on the weekends. The skis are a little funny looking. I'll give I'll give everybody that. They're um, they're interesting looking skis, but again, flotation when we go out and do stuff is just impressive with this uh, with this sled. And I think I think we're in for a treat this winter. I think it's going to become one of those vehicles that, uh, or one of those sleds that everybody stands back at the end of the day and goes, you know, I had very low expectations for it, but um, I'm really impressed. And so far we have been. It's, it's even got it's even got a mountain handle or a mountain bar on it there, because we're going to be side hill on this beast. Actually, you know what? It probably could. You can take it anywhere. Oh, it's got mirrors and everything too. Like fully equipped, and it's even got the little uh, little storage thing up front you can't fit much in there but um, you can put like a pair of goggles or an extra pair of gloves in there and it does get a little bit uh, warm from the motor so 
I don't know, I'm excited about this sled. I usually don't get too excited about utility stuff, um, but I know that a lot of people want to hear about what these do, and this is going to be a cool rig this winter. We're, uh, we're excited to test it out and try it, and if you see us out on the trail with it, stop by, say hi, and ask questions. And if you guys have any specific questions about stuff, whether it be this um, uh, adventure or any other sled, if you want something specific talked about, just let us know, because right now we're sort of in the uh, pre-Christmas getting all amped up about riding and sledding um, and we got some spare time to, to do a few things here and there if you guys have specific questions about stuff. If we got the sled here we can do a little walk around for you and, and talk about something in particular. So leave us a message down below, let us know what you think and uh, if you've picked one of these up or the Titan um, utility version, let us know. Let us know what you think.